What's up guys, today we will be talking about the Galaxy A25 5G versus the S21 FE and this is a, just a very good example of why you should always consider an older flagship because you'll be pretty surprised so if you look at the price you can find an A25 for you know roughly 200 bucks brand new but you can also find an S21 FE in very good condition this is a the one I have here a used refurbished one and uh, you can find these for like 225 you know through 200 bucks depending on you know if it's locked or unlocked so let's go ahead and we're gonna see some some pretty big differences here so hardware wise is going to be a very big difference here so the S21 FE has a premium design so basically it's got a metal frame on here and it's got a a plastic bag but it is a textured plastic bag and it does not have or a matte plastic bag and it does not have any fingerprints you can see which always keeps it really nice and clean looking and with the A25 uh, this is an all plastic phone and I think they're doing a really good job with these budget phones these days because it looks really really good it still looks very premium but it is plastic when you pick it up and feel it you can tell it's an all plastic phone now the biggest difference here is actually that the S21 FE has an IP68 dust and water resistant, which means you can get this phone wet. The A25 does not. It does not have any type of water resistant rating. So if you get it wet, drop it, you know, in the pool or something, nine times out of ten, it's probably going to break. All right, so there are some pretty big differences here with the displays. So on the S21 FE, it's a 6.4 inch display. It's a dynamic AMOLED, 120 hertz HDR10 plus at 6.4 inches 1080p 403 for the PPI the A25 does have a 6.5 inch display so it's a little bit bigger and then this one is also 1080p 396 for the PPI but this one is a super AMOLED 120 Hertz but there's no HDR uh, 10 plus and it gets to a thousand its uh, peak brightness on here as well so basically you can see off rip you get way slimmer bezels on the S21 FE it's just way way slimmer and um, yeah it's overall just a better display one because of the the HDR 10 plus and then also because of the bezel just give it a more you know slimmer premium look and then you have the punch hole instead of the sort of older looking you know water drop notch here so definitely would give it to the the uh, S21 FE for display quality but again the S you know the uh, A25 is pretty decent for you know a budget phone these phones used to have really bad displays probably like three four years ago uh, it was nowhere near this good alright so here's where we start to see a pretty big difference here when it comes to the CPU and processing speeds and graphics and all that stuff so the S21 FE it does have the Snapdragon 888 processor 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM only base the A50, or not the A54, but the A25, it does have the Xenos processor, and this is a 1280 Xenos processor, both on Android 14. And then the base on here is 128 gigs of internal storage and also 6 gigs of RAM. So you can see the big difference in the single core and the multi core score. Now, this might not translate over to app opening that much, in my opinion, or. It, animations and stuff because the A25 it is pretty fast for uh, the most part it's surprisingly fast so of course it's going to be a little bit behind the S21 FE but you will see a big difference when it comes to gaming performance it's really really big but as far as like your overall general speed and animations and stuff they both feel really smooth so I gotta give props to the Samsung for doing such a good job uh, with these budget phones these days subway surf we might see a bigger difference when we get into like games a little bit yeah so that was a, a little bit more of a bigger gap there with speed a little bit uh, but let's go ahead and launch PUBG here see what we get And it looks like the S21 FE is almost in. So you can see there, 
you know, even a bigger gap when you're loading up these heavier games. But that wasn't too bad for the A25, so. Alright, so here's the massive difference when it comes to performance. Um, you're just going to see a big difference. Now, we don't have the 90 frames option on here uh, on the S21 FE. Unfortunately, it can, you know, be able to do it. It's just not optimized for it yet. Um, but it plays at HDR Extreme really well. It's very smooth at 60 frames. And it's just like a night and day sort of thing here. So if you're, you know, playing PUBG competitively, you know, it just makes more sense to go with this phone. Um, you know. Look at graphics here. This is the highest we can do. Balance high. And you could definitely immediately tell the difference here. Uh, it just feels a little bit more choppy compared to, you know, the HDR extreme, the 60 frames playing on a lower frame rate. Um, but it is a, it does play this decently. It's not like it's lagging all over the place. It just doesn't look as good and it just doesn't feel as fast. And this will translate throughout pretty much anything you do, whether it be emulators, Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite, whatever you play. Uh, there's going to be a big difference between these two phones in terms of how well they can play the actual games. Now also another bonus with the S21 FE is that this phone actually will be receiving up to Android 16 as well and you do get access to pretty much all of the you know flagship features like Samsung desktop support, uh, reverse wireless charging, the secured folders, etc. Uh, these are things that you won't find in One UI 6 you know on the more stripped down version on the you know, A25 here. So just keep that uh, in mind too. It's really good. It's still going to be really good for software updates as well. All right, so let's test out these speakers. We're at max volume. Oh yeah, it's not even close. The A25 definitely has the better speakers here. Surprisingly, uh, the speakers just have way more bass and they just sound fuller. Yeah, Adobe Atmos didn't even help. Yeah, just it just beats it in the speaker department. Really good speakers, surprisingly, on the, the A25. All right, so let's talk about cameras because this is very interesting uh, here. So the Galaxy S21 FE has a 12 megapixel standard, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with 3 times optical, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It shoots in 4K60 with a 32 megapixel selfie cam up front that also shoots in 4K60. The A25 has a 50 megapixel standard. It shoots in um, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, so no dedicated telephoto lens on here. It only shoots in 4K 60 and has a 13 megapixel selfie that shoots in 1080 30. So you can see, uh, even though this has a bigger, you know, main camera, uh, you'll see the difference pretty much immediately on how these phones handle dynamic range, low light, and also, you know, video quality. Uh, you know, as far as the, you know, you can shoot 4K60, this one can't, you can only shoot in 1080 on the front, this one shoots 4K60, so there's a, there's a, like a big spec difference here, um, but yeah, check out these side-by-side -side photos, and uh, let me know what you guys think.
All right, so lastly, let's talk about battery life. So both of these phones do a really good job of battery life. And um, yeah, so the slight edge, I would probably give it to the the A25, but it's very slight. I didn't really notice that big of a, like a drain difference, but it definitely has better uh, battery life for sure. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt charging. Now the big difference here with the S21 FE is that this has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. You have 25 watt charging, but you also have the wireless and reverse wireless charging on the S21 FE, which is something you don't have on the A25. So, you know, I just think overall, like for the battery situation, I still like the, the S21 FE giving me that option for wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, and they charge at the same speeds. And I think battery life is similar, but I would still give it to the, um, the A25. So let me know what you guys think. The A25 is a pretty nice phone for the most part, especially for people who want a headphone jack, want SD card support. Um, but if you want more of a premium experience at the same price and better gaming, and uh, yeah, I would definitely get the S21 FE. It's one of my favorite phones to recommend. But um, yeah, it comes down to your personal preference at the end of the day. So let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one.